leaving the post office. Got to the post office when it was light out, leaving when it's dark out. So I've been at the post office for two and a half hours filling out custom papers because like when you ship like lanyards or anything that's parcel out of the um, country, you need to fill out this paperwork. And pretty much what I had to do is I had to rewrite my name, my address, or my P.O. box, um, what's in the envelopes. Uh, I had to write the person, that, the purchaser's name, the purchaser's address, where they live, blah, blah, blah. And I had to do that about 50 times. And then after that, I have to sit with the um, person and they actually have to type it in all over again. So it's a long, long process. I still have another like 15 because she didn't actually get the finish because they closed so I need to come back tomorrow but most of them are out and yeah never doing this again just go down to the link in the web to the website below I'm not dealing with it everything if you like say you ordered a shirt today you'll get it in like five days like I could never do that never ever ever but let's get to the shop <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. What are you doing right now? Um, I got suckered. No, I didn't get suckered. I had a vape off with Rudnick and I'm super lightheaded. <laughs> we need to have a vape off on camera. Oh my god, dude. I'm dying over here. How lightheaded are you? A scale 1 to 10. Like a 7 and a 7? He took some pretty big clouds. Mike, you want to have a contest? Yeah, we can have a contest. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Alright. Yup. I re -upped. I'm re -upped. getting lightheaded, so I'm All glad right. you're going first. I'm going to have to dust this pass one out. out. I might, after this one. That's the goal. Baby. I don't think I can go for that <laughs> long, yeah. Alright, let's hit it with the upper angle. Ooh, that was a good blowout. There it is. <laughs> oh, he choked! Oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> there it is! I got the juice in my mouth. Now you're good, because I got it all in my mouth. <laughs> <coughs> Not gonna lie, my heart's That's racing. That's what she said. Ah. Let's get it Close up. Let's hear it. Dude, I think there's a forecast of rain out here. <laughs> Joking, Keep man. Keep rolling. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh. Coming at you live. I want to smash it, dude. I'm pissed. Oh. All right, so it is super late tonight, but Rudnick is finally getting a start on things. Maybe in another hour or so. His garage is packed, like always, but he is going to be pulling the green Miata in and ripping that thing apart because he wants to make it pretty sweet. I, you you want to explain what I want to do? So Rudnick's goal, if I got it right, is he wants to make it kind of like a sleeper Miata in a stealthy, sense. Yeah. Stealthy. So by stealthy, he means stock is all hell, but with a nice turbo kit on it. So uh, he just wants to look like, you know, a classy old man rolling down the road in his sports car, but it's boosted. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I just want to hurt some feelings. I want to go down the road. Everyone's like, oh, that's a hairdresser car. And then turbo, turbo on him. I don't know. I don't know. But now that Jamie pulled up the camera, I feel like an asshole now. So I'm going to start pulling out cars, get the green one in. Chris Rudnick here at Rudnock Garage. Today we are working on yet another Miata. <laughs> All I was gonna say is, you ready for that money shot? Yeah. Look how beautiful! It, oh, it's got a heat shield. That's so unmotivating. What? Dude, those things are a bitch to get off. They're always rusted. Did you get a, a United Alloys penetrator? Like you said. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I did Tommy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm going to start just draining the fluid. So up we go. Ooh, I thought that was way tighter. All right, here we go. Fun starts. Good macro wrench. That didn't have much oil. You're gonna work for this. So it's still gonna. Right. Mm. 
Just <sighs> oh, oh, I'm pissed. That wasn't that bad. Look how I, that is. I'm still gonna reuse it. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! You need a bigger hole. <laughs> you take the radio cap? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> You're not. This is fun. Front row yeah, seats to run my shop. <laughs> We're gonna sell seats, 200 bucks a night. I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I can, in the new shop, I can get like bleachers and crap. I make good <laughs> money, dude. Shit, dude. Here, I'll, I'll get you with the free roll right here. Thanks, man. It's a pretty good stream. It's gonna blow on oh, you. oh, see. Oh, it's starting to break. No, stop that! Yeah, tell stop! me when. Stop! You messed me up. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Oh. What? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I just want. To... <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> All that work and he For just... nothing, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Did you take the radio cap out? Yeah. What am I, a noob? Yes. <laughs> afraid, Tim. So, while Mike's been vaping, um, I took the <laughs> I-beam, I got these bolts out, I drained the tranny fluid, I disconnected the slave cylinder, and now I'm just unbolting the drive shaft because I like to get everything out of the way like under the car because I don't like being under here and then I'm just gonna work my way up and then like when I'm done disconnecting everything I can literally just grab the hoist and pull it. Oh no 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 cool cool. Oh dude! Oops. The one time I barely get it dirty. Jimmy comes and fucks it up. Oh my god it's spreading. Hold on. Alright 100 bucks. Hold on hold Dude this is way more important than that right now. Whoever does this loser has to clean it up. Alright, ready? Oh, that vape hurts my stomach. No, no, no. No, you just got rid Wait, of some water. Wait, are you doing water. squeeze technique? Of course. <sighs> no, it's squeeze. I might choke. I haven't been able I to do it. I don't, my light hit it from... You count down, Mike. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at the ground! Ugh! Who's got more? Hold on. I pinched my, <laughs> my lip when I was doing it. So I was like, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. Who's got more? <laughs> I think I have more. Yours is on the ground. <laughs> You got your whole body wet. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's cleaning it up. So, like Jimmy already said, the reason of pulling this motor is one, I do want to turbo it and stuff, and we're not going to do the um, dipstick way where I ran the um, turbo return to like the drain or to the dipstick. I'm actually going to like drill the pan and everything. It's not bad. It was Jack's idea, and it, I mean it works. The only bad, like the only downfall of it is. You can't check your oil, but honestly, with the roadster, I would literally just fucking wait till it started ticking pretty loud, and then I just do an oil change, and then I'd have one cord in there. But, anyways, it still runs, so who cares? So I'm pulling this. I want to, hopefully tomorrow. I ordered a whole like gasket set and everything. Like I want to um redo like the um what the fuck are they valve seals? Yeah. Mm. I want to redo the valve seals and everything, and like do literally every single gasket. So I've haven't done a lot of it. So. It's a learning experience for me. So, yeah, I'm not going to be putting cruise control back in. I'm not going to be putting the AC back in because it's a Miata. You don't really need that. And cruise control is for lazy people. So, it's out. You know, it's taking lines off here. Slowly but surely, taking my time. Because, honestly, I hate messing with stock motors. Just because, like, there's a bunch of crap that really you don't need. Like, airbags and Miata. Come on now, really? Like EVAP, come on, really? ABS, junk. Radiator's out. Nice. Intake tubes out. I wanna see a nice cloud out of that, come on. Let's see Ooh, it. a cloud? Yeah, let's see it. Look, listen to this guy, he wants to get me Nick poisoned. <laughs> 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 nice what try. That? Again. Oh, that was almost. That was oh, nice, oh, oh! Oh, literally. Let it come out a little bit at the end and then do it. One more time. Oh. Kind of, kind of. Thank God we're going mega squirt. I don't need this thing, but I'll just. Treasure? Quarter? 
Dude, what are those things? Like the Pam or the what are those? Maracas. Maracas. Oh! oh no. You were right though. You got some friends living in there. Assholes. This is the first time I've ever that I've taken out a heat shield and like none of the bolts like snapped or anything. It was just a nice clean pull. But that's off. So I hate unplugging the injectors. So literally I just take these needle nodes. Sometimes I break the clip, but it's alright because they still plug in. But it's so much easier going like this. It's so hard to get my fat stubby fingers in there. Ah. Alright, so we haven't break broken two. You ready? Yeah. All right, one more. Dun, 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 dun. Done. Not bad, I'm so. Bye guys, good Bye. luck, Rod Knock. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. See you, Jimmy. Bye, I'll staff. Be back more Duh. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Oh, yeah. This is my second one right now. This is a a temporary guy because I'm waiting on my new one. Ooh. Determined. Right, ready? Yep. Well, the exhaust manifold is off. Um, these heater core lines gave me such... Oh my god, I'm pissed because of these things. So... On a Miata, you really shouldn't grab them with pliers because as you can see, like I barely touched it and you can see that one's a little rounded. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can see it. Um, what I had to do was I literally just torched them up and tried to like expand them and then I took the pliers very, very lightly and then just moved them around and thankfully I was to get them off, but I definitely want heat in this car, so I needed to do that right. But this thing's almost out. I just got to disconnect the... AC lines, I need to disconnect a couple grounds, and I need to get this bolt off the tranny because like, this car has never been touched, so it has like all these like factory crap, and mm, it makes me so angry. So, whoa. We're getting ready to pull the motor now. I know there's a, a couple things that I missed, like AC lines and stuff like that, but I just want to like get the motor up in the air, and like if I miss anything from behind, it's just gonna be a lot easier to like actually get to it, but like I have room behind the motor to actually work. So I know there's gonna be stuff. Don't worry about it. We'll get it done. Hey buddy, how's it going? I'm over here losing my cool. All right, so we're trying to take the motor out, obviously. And in a Miata, once you take the plantation beam off, like those three bolts, the tranny should drop. And I'm trying to pull this and it's not coming out. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I lift up the lift a little so I can crawl under. And the tranny wouldn't move at all. So I'm like, how can this possibly happen? And I'm sitting under there for like 10 minutes looking at everything. Maybe there's some OEM bull crap that I missed. Then I come take the center console off. And it's stuck on the turret hole. How does that even happen? Like, dude, I... I can make it come off right now, but I'm just gonna take this off. Save me some time. Wait a minute, is that the reason? Watch, watch it drop. Unbelievable. I, I don't even know what to say about that, honestly. It's been a long night, it's been a long night. Ugh. Well, it's hitting the hood. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it, right? What could pass? What else could go wrong? This. Oh come on. Do you see what I'm dealing with right now? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> Please, just give me a break. I want to go home. I want to go home so bad. Yeah, but there you go.
Uh, what? Slave, slave line. What do you mean slave line? I forgot. OEM. Oh. We are the champions. This was the most annoying motor pull I've ever done in my life. Screw OEM. All right, so now that we got the motor out, I was planning on putting it on a stand tonight, but it's way too late. This was way too much of a headache. Um, it's a lot different from pulling, pulling an OEM, like never touched Miata motor than pulling the Rice Miata motor. I can literally pull the Rice Miata motor in probably half an hour. This just took way too long and it was a nightmare. But tomorrow's video, we're gonna get on the stand. We're gonna clean it all up. Hopefully my um, gasket stuff comes in so we can start to do that. Um, I do, I am going to Logan Steel on Friday. We're powder coating a subframe for the Skyline. We're powder coating a bunch of um, Miata valve covers and we're doing a bunch of stuff with them. And we are gonna be doing this and hopefully we're gonna be doing the intake manifold as well because I want this engine bay really nice, really clean and it's gonna be turboed soon. So stay tuned. Hope you guys are excited about this. I'm gonna try to get this done as quick as possible. I don't like saying that in case like a problem shows up and they're like, oh, Rodnick, you said you're going to do this quick. Well, I'm going to try. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. I'm going to go clean my hands because I look like Marcus. See you in the next one.